Hi guys, this is Barry from Coffee vs Glass and today I'm going to be taking a look at a simple app for Android that actually brings back functionality that I really miss from my Galaxy S2 since I bought my Galaxy Nexus. Now essentially, the application is very very simple, you can get it from the Android market, it's called Power Toggles. Now essentially what it does, very simply, instead of having to have a widget on your screen that is the power controls to turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, screen rotation, things like that, it does something which a lot of the skinned Android phones like the Galaxy S2 uh, that have a slightly customised version of Android do, which is it puts the power controls in the notification area up the top here, which I find very, very handy. So essentially, let's go ahead and look at what the application looks like and how it works. So when we open it up, we can see it's super, super simple inside. In my opinion, I think it's actually designed quite badly uh, on this screen here. For example, this icon here is not aligned with this icon here, which is not very good. Um, I've got no idea what this application here is. It's kind of like a house icon with a zero in the middle, and it doesn't do anything. You click on it, it does absolutely nothing. And this one along here is actually how we turn on and change the notification widget that appears in our notification area up the top here. So the tick here simply turns it on and off. The pin icon here turns on accessibility features. And then we've got the settings icon here, which actually lets us change the widget itself. Now we can put up to eight widgets onto the widget itself, um, and we can customize it by simply clicking on one that's already there, like the brightness, and we can use this slider to move it along the road to position it where we want it to go and we can even delete it from the list entirely. If you wanted to add a new widget or add a new icon we go add toggle and we've got a pretty extensive list here to add things to our widget. You can even add application shortcuts as well if you want to quickly launch an application but you don't want it on your home screen which I think is really really handy. Next we can change the notification icon. Now the notification icon is just a small thing up the top here in your notifications that simply gives you the battery status in percentages. So at the moment it's got 64 with a blue circle around it. And we can change how it displays here. So you can have just a number or a number with a circle around it, but a white circle or a blue circle. And then we've got the button colors here. So of course when a button is off, it's white or see-through. When it's in the process of being turned on, whoops, sorry, it's orange. And then when it's on, it's blue. So very, very easy. Next we have just the general application settings, nothing too major here, we've just got enable haptic feedback, we can use custom battery colours which I think is pretty cool to change the colour of your battery up here and when it changes colour and what percentage it has to go to. We've got screen brightness adjustments so when you click on the battery, uh, sorry, click on the brightness toggle, what intervals of brightness is it going to go through and some other things there. And then we've got a feedback button at the bottom. So I think in general the Power Toggles application is really, really cool and it brings back some functionality which I really miss from my Galaxy S2, which was the ability to change quick settings from the notification bar instead of having to have uh, a widget on your home screen taking up space. So I think all in all, I really like it and I suggest everyone downloads it if you've got a Galaxy Nexus. So this is Barry from Coffee vs Glass and I'll catch you guys later.